vlog. We got a push day today. Gonna rip some pre-workout. Anything interesting going on today? Not really, tax season. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna be sharing the books that had such a big impact on me. I did a workout first, and then I got like 10 books to share, so you're in for one today. Let's get it, it's gonna be a good vlog. I'm on the top of the bed. 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 Alright guys, what's going on? Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about books that changed my life. I just wanna start off by saying I've been reading for about two years consistently. Before that, I was never a reader. I probably read like literally five books in my life. In high school, I would never read the books that they would give to you. If you're someone that wants to get into reading, I'm telling you, don't tell yourself you're not a reader because if you wanna read, you can read and you can become a reader. And I feel that books have truly changed my life because it really gives me a new perspective. I've learned so much about business, about personal development. The books that I read and that I'm gonna to share today are ones that are in the personal development category. I really don't like the word self-help. I feel like it's kind of condescending in a way, like self-help, oh, you need help. The better word for it is personal development and everyone needs that in order to grow in life. Anyways, I'm doing a challenge called 75 Hard. If you're new to the channel, this is what it is. It basically is you have to read 10 pages every single day. So I'm not sitting down spending hours reading. I literally spend 20 minutes a day and over time you're able to get through so many books. So. I run a business, clothing brand, do social media and all that. I'm gonna explain kind of how I've applied the knowledge that I've gained from the books to my life. All these books are just like great. I personally recommend every single book that you're about to see. Let's move on. I'm going to get a haircut because my hair is fucking long. Well, to me it is. Do a couple of things. I'll share the books throughout the video. So let's go. Okay guys, so the first book on my list is Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Phil Knight is the owner of Nike or the founder of Nike. The main takeaway with this book, it's a really great story of the triumphs and the failures and the, the successes and, and you know, the losses, the wins, everything that Phil Knight went through to build the brand Nike. I think it's really well written because he speaks very humbly about the story. So on the cover, Warren Buffett, investor, he says the best book I read last year, Phil is a gifted storyteller. If you want some inspiration, this is definitely a book for you every book that I'm gonna explain there's kind of like a main theme like some will be on leadership some will be maybe gaining inspiration how to get out of a mental rut I feel like the best book for you to choose right now to read is one that's in line with where you're at in your current life because you know it's all different like right now I'm really learning a lot about leadership and so I'm immersing myself into books and content that has to do with leadership so shoe dog number one highly highly recommend and I guess the way that it's impacted my life is I'm building a brand health hustle and this brand is something that means a lot to me and I think it's this book was very inspirational I read this book probably like two years ago inspired me to build a brand and do something bigger than just me and, and my name and what I do personally I want to build something that's it's way bigger than me so let's go moving on Book number two, this one right here. So the main takeaways from this book, I mean, 
it's really right here in the title. The whole book is about just not giving a fuck. It helps give you the confidence to do things in life without caring so much about what other people think about you. And I think it's it's the thing that a lot of people in today's day and age suffer with is caring so much about what other people think. It's very common and I think this, this is a book that can really just help with getting through that barrier. Definitely helped me with getting through that barrier. I read this book. This is actually one of the first books I read in this like personal development kind of category. This was before I even started my YouTube channel. And I, I feel like this is something that kind of pushed me to start a YouTube channel, to start posting on Instagram and just not really caring so much about what other, what other people will think. And you know, kind of propelled me into building a brand and all these different things. So that's why I feel like this book has really impacted my life. And I would highly recommend it to anyone that's kind of in that beginning stage and they feel a little lost. This is a good one. Next three books I'm going to share with you right now. Alright, let's start with this one. Atomic Habits. I feel like you probably have seen this book. I feel like it's always on the top charts. Pretty much this book is just about obviously habits. At the time when I was online coaching and doing that full time and I had a bunch of fitness coaching clients, this is one that I really recommended because it talks about building good habits and getting rid of bad ones in a very simple and systematic way. I honestly recommend this to anyone that wants to implement good habits and kind of get rid of the bad habits. And obviously habits are things that you know drive our day to day. Next one, we got number four, boom, 5 a.m. club. This book at the time really impacted me so much. It kind of just taught me the importance of having a morning routine. You know, it's called the 5 a.m. club and it kind of recommends you to wake up at 5 a.m. And I was doing that for a bit. Like I was very inspired from the book and stuff. I don't wake up at 5 a.m. right now. I will say I do have a consistent morning routine and it's not as long as the one that was in the book. Like when I read the book, I was super inspired and I was like doing a long ass morning routine and stuff, but I don't think it, that's what it should be about. I think the takeaways that you should get from this book are just knowing how much a morning routine can help you and impact your day to day. Like pretty much all I do is wake up, drink a big glass of water, coffee, five minutes of meditation, and then I read, and then I go to the gym. And that just like sets me up for a very positive, successful day. Anyways, 5 a.m. club, if you want to build a morning routine for yourself, this is a book that I recommend. Moving on to the third book, this is actually a book I'm reading right now, Extreme Ownership. I'm about two thirds through. I'm not done the book, so I feel like I should, should have probably finished it before including it in this list. But the reason I'm including this in the list is just because of the whole concept of the book. It's just taking extreme ownership for every single thing in your life. This is a leadership book. Like the authors, Jocko and Leif Babin, they were both Navy SEALs. So each chapter is basically like a story of them on the battlefield in Iraq, leading a team in combat and in life and, life and death situations and then it goes into a principle and then it goes into how to apply it to business and life. So it's really cool because they use war to kind of relate it to leadership and how um, you can apply the same principles to life and business. The best leaders are not driven by ego or personal agendas. They are simply focused on the mission and how to best accomplish it. Honestly, if you're a business owner, if you have a leadership position, if you aspire to, I think everyone should aspire to be a leader in some way, you need to read this book like 100%. So that's three, four, five. Let's move on with the rest of the video. Boom. We got two books here. 
Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. This book dropped or was published in 1937. I'm sure you've probably heard it before if you've wandered within the business section. I mean, this book is pretty in depth. This book is more about the way that you think about money, the way that you think about success. I read this book probably about two years ago and the main takeaway for me is that I found that this book was extremely helpful for positive self-talk and affirming success in my own head. Just really learning that the way that I think is gonna dictate my outcome. So if I'm constantly thinking about negative things or scarcity in terms of money, for example, and not focusing on making more income, making more impact in the world, if you're constantly telling yourself and thinking to yourself, you're gonna have whatever the things that you want and you're backing those thoughts with action every day, you're bound for success. Book number seven, boom. How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie. This is another really old book, 1936. So literally came out one year before Think and Grow Rich. You've probably heard this one before as well because it's a really famous book. Upon first glance of this book and the title, How to Win Friends and Influence People, you may be like, oh, I already have friends or whatever. This whole book is just about how to influence people and how to you know, make connections, great for networking, how to manage people. Say you're, you have a team or, or something. Just like how to deal with people in like a positive way. Tons of really great principles in this book that you could apply to your everyday life. Overall, amazing book. I highly recommend it wouldn't be in this list if it wasn't so good and I remember it really having an impact on my life at the time. Also, I just picked up this book, Steve Jobs, and it's about the life of Steve Jobs. It's a biography, it's written by Walter Isaacson. A thick ass book, 600 pages. This is gonna be like the biggest book I've ever read so far. I'm excited to read this. I'm excited, this is gonna be next. guys last three but not least definitely not least this next one that I'm gonna share with you guys is by far my favorite book of all time and that book is relentless it's funny because it's the only book I literally don't have I lent it to people because it's such a good book that I just wanted all my people to read it it's such a great book for anyone that really wants to do great things in their life for people that want to build essentially a relentless mindset. A quick backstory about the book, the author, Tim Grover, he was Michael Jordan's trainer. He trained Michael Jordan for 15 years. He was also Kobe's trainer. So relentless is kind of the principles that he lived by and he used when training Michael Jordan and kind of like the, the mentality that he was able to help Michael Jordan build to become one of the greatest athletes of all time. But the main concept within relentless is he talks about, so there's three types of people. There's coolers, closers, and cleaners. And Michael Jordan was a cleaner. You can look into it, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I feel like that book is, is so special to me because it was by far the book I think that impacted me the most. I was able to really relate to it because of how big my goals are and, and how much I wanna achieve in life. And reading it was just like a breath of fresh air because it showed me you know, what it really takes, not easy to be an entrepreneur, it's not easy to chase your dreams, and well, a lot of the times you feel alone, so I feel like that book really helped me out. I'm definitely gonna read it again many times. I do highly recommend it. Huh. Yo, do you have Relentless? Yeah. Can I, can I see it for a sec? I'm actually just talking about it, but I didn't have it. Relentless, here it is. That's the book I was just talking about. This is more of a bonus book, but winning. This is Tim Grover's second book. This one came out much more recently. And this is more so on the story of Kobe, rest in peace. There's just really great principles in here and if you read Relentless and if you liked Relentless, I highly recommend reading Winning as well because Tim Grover is probably my favorite author and, uh, and I actually sent a DM to Tim, this is what I said to Tim. All right, if you see this Tim, I just want you to know that your books changed my life. It's now my duty to win. He said, I saw it, now go win. I'm, I'm gonna print that shit and put it on my wall because that's, that's a huge inspiration for me. So anyways, so next book, number nine, we almost done. 
good to great. I read this one actually very recently. It's by an author, Jim Collins, and this one is very business heavy. Essentially, Jim Collins is a researcher and basically did research on almost 1,500 different companies. All of these companies and found a set, a small set of companies within that massive range. I think he found like 11 that were considered going from good to great. And it was over a period of 15 years. There's all this specific data, but the whole book is what did these companies do? to go from good to great. If you have a business or whatever, you can obviously apply this to your own business, which I've done. If you're not really into business, then it may get a little, a little bit much because there's a lot of business heavy terms. I love that stuff. And then last but not least, we got Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I read this one really recently as well. And I actually got into running because of this book. And now I'm running twice a week and I wanna do a half marathon. So I don't know what it is, David Goggins got me into running but amazing story it's a story of his life and the amount of adversity he went through and the amount of shit he went through he was able to take his extreme adversity and, and I say extreme because it was truly extreme you'll know what I'm talking about if you've read the book but he took his extreme adversity and turned it into massive accomplishments so on the front of the book it says master your mind and defy the odds that's really what it is all about he uses this term in the book which is callous your mind which is essentially like training your mind to build more mental toughness to be able to make it in the real world because mental toughness is a really important thing and I think is very underlooked we live in a world with a lot of soft people so to put it simply if you want to train your mind to be able to do things that you would have thought you'd never be able to do I feel like this is a really good book and and if you're going through a lot of adversity in your life right now a lot of struggle I actually would recommend reading this book first so that is it guys the 10 books that changed my life and I say that with conviction because it is true these books actually had such a big impact on my mindset and how I carry myself and how how much I've learned in business and in life and stuff so I hope you got some value from this video if you did run it up hit the like button comment down below drop some recommendations I'm always looking for book recommendations and I'm sure all of you guys watching are looking for more book recommendations as well biggest tip I can give you if you want to get into reading is literally 10 pages a day that's it keep it very simple and you'll be able to get through books like I said at the beginning of the video I was never a big reader before this now I love reading and it has really helped me out so much and I just, I just enjoy it much love guys talk to you in the next video peace out